everybody! Today I am joined by Nadira. She's an international makeup artist. She's been at the top of her game for about 20 years and she's worked for just about every magazine that you flick through, like Vogue and Marie Claire and... Tatler. Tatler. Okay, so we're in good company. Okay, so today we are going to talk about highlighting and contouring and getting like a glow. Yeah, a healthy glow and I think most people are finding there's more bronzing products, more highlighting products on the market, but they're a little bit overwhelmed by the textures and what yeah. it really does and this, that and the other. So um, I just thought it would be nice to show what's on the market, but just also we can have a little play on ourselves. Yes. And, um, I could learn um, a few tricks, I can tell you. Yeah, and um, just also break down that myth of uh, that it doesn't have to be so extreme as in say like the Kardashian look where you have to it's sort of almost yeah. using black and white which is actually an old theatre uh, makeup technique and te that's how you, you start off with your training for TV oh. and theatre because it's corrective makeup yeah um, but we're sort of using new formulas now which are a lot more they're lighter, there's not so much stodge there, there's a little bit more shine, there's a bit more radiance and just try and get a nice natural contoured look without looking too obvious. And hopefully easy for people like me because I'm not a trained makeup artist so hopefully learn some tricks but how kind of you know lay people like us can, can get <laughs> the effect that we want. So we've got a whole table full of bits and pieces um, mm. from various different brands and we've gone from like high-end to high street so there's something here for everyone so I think yeah. that we should just get started. Um, what I could start with is just showing you some of my favourites that I use all the time on shoots um, and why but um, they're, they're sort of I suppose all of them are sort of high to, to mid-range um, I think a lot of people are really familiar with Bobbi Brown yeah. and her textures. Also, she does very wearable makeup. There's nothing that's going to, there's no product in her range that's going to scream at you. But she's always done these sort of highlighting pens, which are Ooh, I haven't used a these. really nice, creamy, creamy texture. And you can get a lot of use out of these. these last for ages. That's the rose shade so that's something that would be more highlighting. Or Ooh. if you've got pale skin the yes. rose one looks great used as a sort of blusher with a bit of a radiant glow. Lovely. It's got a lovely sheen to it. Yeah, yeah. has. Yeah. Benefit's another one that's been great um, with highlighting products as well. I've got this. This is the What's Up. Yes. And I don't know how to use this. Oh, I love this on me. I love and it, now, but I think I'm not oops. using it properly, so... Okay, well, I'm sort of quite sort of going home with it, to be yeah. honest. <laughs> and as, when I used to look at that shade, I used to think, oh, that's going to be too pale for me. Yeah. And maybe look a bit blue on my skin tone. But I'll actually... I'll, I'm going to pop some on me now so you can see. I'm going quite generously here, but I love that look where you've got a bit, you're literally just focusing on those really highlighted areas, just blending it in. Oh, I love that the look. Nose. It's that red carpet dewy cheekbone look, yeah. isn't it? I love yeah. that. And doing that with a cream is, especially in these areas of the face, Yeah is uh, so much, it's much nicer look, it's not going to crease, it's not going to look powdery, yeah. and it does stay. It's looking so. amazing, because when you're looking at me like this, mm. you can't actually see that you've got anything on, but when you just turn your head slightly, it's just catching the light, and the cheekbones are just kind of screaming at you. Yeah, I, I think that along with then um, a, a save, and particularly with the the Bobbi Brown uh, highlighter yeah. pens, it's a nice look and it's keeping everything really dewy. Um, so. I'm personally not a powder person, I don't yeah. even, I obviously own powders for my kit when I'm working but not for myself. There's brands like Givenchy, oh, I love which do their fantastic prisms 
And these are great, great for makeup artists and yeah. great sort of for every day because you can just get a lot out of it. Um, four shades, um, there's a lovely sort of golden glow to it, you can have a little play. Use your Wayne Goss brush. Yeah, do you like these? Yeah. Have you tried these Wayne Goss I brushes? I have it, but I'm really impressed, I like that shade. That's nice, so I'm going to okay. use the uh, darkest shade. Okay. Actually, on you. And I'm going to literally take it right into that. It's just cheek, under the just cheekbone. Under the cheekbone. You've got to give the brush the chance to do its job. Okay. So it's all in the. If you're choosing the right brush, it'll it'll come together. Something this size is perfect for contouring. But we've just ended up creating a sculpted look really easily. I have to look at my just mirror. Well oh gosh, yeah, I can see the difference. It's lovely, and That's also lovely. you see it's not too powdery because no. it's got flecks of gold in it. Yeah. It's, it's got a lot of warmth. Yeah, I like and that. Very natural. Some amazing products from Hourglass. This I really love for work, actually. And I'm a big fan of Hourglass, but I haven't tried this one. Ah, oh, right. It's well yeah. worth a try. Also love the packaging. Yes. Um, but these, so obviously that's the highlighter and that's the bronzer. Mm. But I found even on the palest person, it works really well because um, you can obviously, and a little goes a long way. So you can really sort of adapt it to, I can use this on many different sort of shades. I might just try the colour. Can yeah. I can just use my finger. You can, I'll allow you to. <laughs> <laughs> Unless oh, you want to use my it? spatula. Yeah, let me use a spatula. Use my spatula. I am a hat I'm hygiene learning. freak. Yeah. <laughs> so do I just like, take a little bit there? That's yeah. It. You have to be a hygiene freak. If your kit is being used across different people, yeah. it's different when you're kind of just doing your own face at home. With... Though I would encourage anyone <laughs> even at home to be a little bit wary of... Uh, this looks like a surgical implement. <laughs> you do not want to get on the wrong side of Nadira unless you've got this with her. I mean, the whole point about makeup anyway is just putting things in the right place and making sure that it actually makes a difference, creates the impact that you want. Right. Rather than just putting it on for, for the sake of it. Mm. Um, and that's how I sort of, when I'm teaching, that's what I'm trying to get across. It's it's going back to basics. It's kind of drawing a line. It's creating yes. this, that, and the other on the face. So mm. this actually excites me. This is a uh, who is this? Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. It's a kind so of sculpting nice. and highlighting. So these are powders. And I've used that actually more often than I've used my Tom Ford because it just goes on quicker, I think. But it's not nice as, and soft. Lovely, yeah. lovely textures. And the highlighter on this is actually really beautiful as well. Uh, kind of almost like your what's up from Benefit. Yes, that that's was true. Form. Very true. And it's a warm colour. I tend to go for like warmer, kind of pinkier. Yeah, rose, I'd say roses. looking this shade is not going to really do anything for you. Not that much. You could wear that on your eyes though. Ooh. Would look nice. Uh -huh. Multitasking. So, and the same with this palette. Yes. I think. This is like too dull on our skin. Mm. That would just knock out the yellow in our skin and we want to sort of keep that there and soup it up and yeah. make it a bit more uh, bronzing. I think that's why you've probably ended up discarding that. I use this one more mm. and you're right, this works better as a bronzer. Actually, I use this more as a sculpting powder for that underneath okay. it because it's got quite a lot of grey in it. Yeah. So I don't use this as a bronzing. I just use a very faint bit, like just under the cheekbone. Okay. And although I'm, I'm loving what you did here with this um, Givenchy one. So. Yeah. Essence are brand new to the UK. It's just very simple, fun, no nonsense sort of uh, makeup, and really good textures. Really impressive textures. Fingers, so Adira, fingers. I don't care. <laughs> I'm delving in. <laughs> It's just... Oh my goodness, it's you, so much more pigmented than I yeah, thought it would be. This entire kit is, is under £6. Their average price is actually £2. So it's, I've seen the range in... I spend a lot of time in Spain, as you know. Mm. So I've seen the range in Spain, but... I don't know what I can't... I bought a couple of bits. I think I bought a couple of eyeshadow trios or something like that, mm. but didn't... 
it's an awful thing. So I didn't actually even look at the price really because I was buying okay. like lots of bits and it didn't look like it was going to be expensive. So I didn't yeah. really look at the price, but um, that's incredible. So you can do your whole face yeah. and probably your whole family's face <laughs> for, well, you could definitely do your own face for under 20 pounds. Um, <laughs> I love this peach color. How would I use this, this peach color in the Well, we can add to what we did earlier. I'm going to be all and lopsided. Just, this side is going to be done. Wait, yeah. I'm going to be all like <laughs> nude on this side. So this lovely peachy shade is called Peach Babe. That's me. Yep. Oh, I'm just going to take that and use that as a highlighter actually. Just pop that on the top there. That just adds a lovely, it's a lovely sheen on the skin and it blends nicely into the, the dark shade we used before. That is nice. It's really nice texture. That's lovely. And it's not, sh it's not kind of glittery, it's just sheen. Yeah. Yeah. I think some people get a bit scared of anything that's got a little bit of a shine to it, because yeah. especially if they feel like they have to really powder down their skin mm. but remember having that bit of shine and radiance is youthful so as soon as you start knocking it back you're going to start adding years and it's aging isn't it that really matte face is really quite aging yes it is yeah. hence why we want to sort of highlight so we've got products like this from new cid who this isn't anything brand new but they're really good at bronzing and glow products and I feel the textures there. You finger, can finger. <laughs> I'll be sanitising everything. Oh, I'm i just had a shower. <laughs> Leave me alone. Also, what they've done is put everything into stick form as well. So they do these really nice so highlights. Easier to carry around. And also with products such as these, these sort of big bronzing powders. You can, you as well as getting that healthy glow, you can because it's it's there's no no um, there's no shine in this. There's no sheeny finish. Mm. You can make the tip of your nose look a little bit less obvious. Yeah. You can sort of so it's like shaving a bit of your chin off creating a bit more cheekbones. You can really sculpt with products like these. What I really like, that sculpted bronzing look, mm. where you, it sort of looks a bit no makeup. Yes. Like, and it's just like, wow, she's just come on holiday. Yeah. She still has that glow. Yes. But you're cheating it all the time with these fantastic mm. products. So something like this on the inside of the waterline, and because it's a very oh, soft yeah. pen, it runs in, yeah. yeah, it runs along the lines really easily. So new, new CID do one called Eye Open, and it's a sort of creamy shade. I use this actually on my myself a lot because of my early mornings. <laughs> um, so that goes inside your waterline. Yes, That's and you slightly... just and it just does stay there, and just creates that nice, yeah. nice. Oh, I've just been That's on really holiday, and all we're doing with. Um, with contouring and highlighting, you're creating an illusion the whole time. Yeah. And it's the same, like just going back to what you were saying earlier about rules with, with bronzers and things like mm. that. With foundation, when I apply foundation, I don't use the same colour all over the face on someone. I'm using a darker shade in certain areas. Right. So you're doing your little bit of correcting before that process. So of the contouring starts right at the kind yeah. of first step. Well, that was fabulous Nadira, and hopefully that has given you some ideas for contouring and highlighting and products to use. And I'm going to put all of Nadira's details in the information box down below. And I'm sure that if you've got any questions, if you put them down below, um, Nadira will have a look and maybe kind of get back to you. Yes. Or I can I'm get back to you that. either way. So Make sure to leave us a comment below, let us know if you've got any questions and um, stay tuned because we will be making another video together so that will be coming soon. Bye! Bye! <laughs>